to Reflective Fashion Production. This is Prince Tales. Now, I know a lot of dogs do different things. You want to tell your story? Is that why you're talking? We're doing a voiceover and Prince wants to talk. Go ahead. Okay. So, basically, we've been playing all morning. And he's got a good breakfast. But one of the things that I did want to talk about was him actually eating Farmer's Dog. Now, we used to do that when he was younger. And I actually looked at the ingredients and I was like, you know what? I can make this at home. But at the same time, I realized that different dogs want different things. So, one of the things that I noticed with Prince is that he does like his, his kibble. He likes that and he also likes treats now i love gingerbreads and i saw these little things when he was younger and they're made of peanut butter so i was just like you know what i'm gonna get them so he used to have the small soft kind and now i found the bigger kind and they're they're cute little gingerbread men they're so cute and so i decided that we were going to get the bigger ones and put them in his little cookie jar what I do with the broken ones, I actually put them in back in the bag and I use them for when we're walking or toppers for his food. Now, I do have a November list because with everything that has gone on in the last few months, I decided that we needed to get back on track. And this is his list. Um, if you can't tell, Prince is in his room and he doesn't want to get out. And apparently he doesn't like me telling his business or me recording him. So I try my best to get as much footage as I can. And if you could hear him right now, he's not very happy. I was going to go in the other room and keep recording, but I decided that I'm going to stay here because he's not the boss, even though sometimes he thinks he is. And I let him think that, but that's totally fine. But eventually he, he let me get him out of his room. He was just laying down and it was kind of early. It was still dark, but I want to get into a routine of where we're going on a walk earlier. And when we first got him, it was dark in the morning and we were, we were doing our little morning walks. Um, I used to work from home when we first got him. And when we first got him, he was eight weeks old. In fact, I want to show a picture right here. Okay. So there he is. And this was last year. This was last year. And it's so funny because he's one and everybody thinks he is just this really big beast. And I'm just like, no, he's one. He's still a puppy. He'll be two in May. I'm really excited for that because I really do want to make him a service dog. I see how he looks at um, the kids and he wants to play and help them. So I really would love to take him to the children's hospital and let them, you know, play with them. And, and he... He give them that good feeling because he does that to me and Malia as well. So I just thought that that would be fun. Now, I did pick up a piece of paper because I didn't want him coming and getting it later. And on top of that, see the broken gingerbread peanut butter cookie? Yeah, I used that on our walk. So like if he's not listening to me, I'll, I'll be like, hey, I got something for you. Now, on our walk, what I did do is I let him lead the way only because I was recording and I didn't want him to know because, like I said, he doesn't really like me recording him and he tries to distract me. Like right now, he's trying to get me to play with his toy as I'm doing a voiceover. But honestly, for the month of November, we're definitely going to get back on our our morning walks in our routine that we used to have because now I am um, still doing my beauty business however I did have to pick up a full-time job it, it takes a lot to run a business on your own so I really want to say that I could save that for another video but I can definitely tell you that it makes a difference in how he acts when I'm here in being active with him and I know sometimes it can be definitely hard so having an animal is a lifestyle that's a lifestyle that you have to create for yourself and your family if that's something that you're interested in wanting to do and I think it's important to make sure that you include them in your daily routines as well as travel because we did travel with him and I know sometimes it's hard to travel with animals, but I think it's important that if you do have animals that you you give them that sense of sense to where it's like, hey, you know, 
you're coming with us or you have to go here because even with your kids you're not going to always travel with your kids because you want to do something with your significant other or you want to have a, a parents night out whatever the case may be so i just i personally we traveled with him to south carolina that was so fun i wish i would have got more footage but we're gonna make another trip um it's going to be different because um, of the hurricane and everything. And I do wish everybody that, you know, experienced that just blessings and, you know, prayers. I think it's important to just, you know, check on your family. And I personally had no idea what was going on until after the fact, like after the fact, like I saw the pictures and everything. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I had to check on my South Carolina people. And make sure they were cool um and my florida people but here okay he was he was doing too much at first he sat down so i gave him his uh his treat and then he started getting up and we do this little game in the hallway anyway so sometimes i do confuse him because he'll run back and forth and have the zoomies but it's still summertime like he got his summertime collar on which my aunt said something about and i'm just like you know priorities did you see my list like his collar isn't on top of the list so we definitely have to get that together i wanted to show you that this is actually the toy that was in that picture he still has that which is awesome because he's he's done some damage to all his toys and he also has that which i was just throwing to him um i want to get him another one because it used to light up and so i'm really proud of him because he still has his soccer ball as well as his football he hasn't ripped them to shreds yet i'm so proud of him there are certain toys that he does have that i'm just like oh my god prince really but um i did want to show you that he does actually go in his little his little bone basket and get his toys because somebody was like no he don't yes he does he goes in and he takes all his toys out he does the most but he takes his toys out because i showed him how to do that and i sometimes i regret showing him how to do that because i would just take all his toys and put them all over the floor <laughs> but anyway so he grabbed his little bone because he likes that and um I'm actually touching his bone. Like, I like to do little things to him just in case, you know, he's around little babies and they try to, you know, touch his stuff because I don't want him nipping them. Like, I just think that that's important. And that's one of the things that I used to do with my dog, uh, Taz, when, when he was alive. But I didn't have Malia until he was, like, older. We can talk about that later. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sharon is Karen. I'll talk to you soon.